People living on the outskirts of Temple are now fed up after their yards have become dumping grounds for debris. One resident took matters into his own hands and got police involved to hold these illegal dumpers accountable. Six News anchor Adriana Alexander has more details on the situation and what others need to know when dumping debris. Adriana Chris Lindsay illegal dumping has become more common since May's tornadoes, but even months after a resident told me his neighborhood has become the focal point of debris buildup. Ever since May's tornadoes. Oh, the landscaping company, I saw them, it was like a frenzy. They would start coming in a certain time and they were dropping the trash, like back to back, like trucks coming in. Eddie Roman lives on FM 2350 on the outskirts of Temple. Park Him and his actually, neighbors say they uh, are at their wits end dealing with debris and trash constantly being dumped on their property. Sometimes the debris, they start dropping it in private property, but then when they couldn't drop it, it was so much, they actually start dropping it in the middle of the road. So we had to kind of like drive around it a little bit. Roman told me he reached out to the city of Temple, but nothing was done. Then he filed a police report with Temple Police because when illegal dumping happens, it affects everyone. The, the individuals, when they hire these companies, they're charging, uh, you know, the individual, the insurance company, they're charging them for to remove the, the trees when you cut a tree. So they charge for that and they, they have to take it to the landfill. Well, they're saving the money from the landfill and they actually throw in the trash back over there, which in turn is, 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 is cost to the insurance, it cost to the city. Fines for illegal dumping can go up to $500. Temple Landfill is accepting tree debris and garbage that costs $32 per ton. The Temple Solid Waste Complex only accepts tree debris, and that's free to residents. I know people don't want the stuff from their little neighborhood, so their little nice neighborhood, but we live out there, and we want the area clean. Yeah, definitely unfortunate. The city will also be returning to normal brush and bulk collections Thursday, August 1st. Residents can visit templetexas.gov slash solid waste to check routes and learn more about the guidelines. Yeah, I mean, just after a while, be responsible with yep. your own mess. Yep. Okay, thanks, Adrian. Appreciate it.